His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday directed that the ecological areas in Wadi Al Buhair that contain terrain in rocky hills be considered a nature reserve. HRH The Crown Prince and Prime Minister further directed the relevant authorities to continue their urban and infrastructure development in the Wadi Al Buhair area, while taking into consideration the preservation of its protected areas. His Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom's commitment to preserving and developing areas of natural and historic value, to support its role as a tourist attraction. Foreign Affairs Minister Dr. Abjaladiyev bin Rashid al Zviani participated in the International Ministerial Conference on Freedom of Religion or Belief in London. Bahrain's efforts to consolidate tolerance, dialogue and common understanding among all religions, cultures and civilizations was emphasized. The Kingdom also promoted respect for human rights and religious freedoms, following the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa. Tourism Minister Fatima bin Jafar al Sayrafi has affirmed the depth of Bahraini Saudi Arabia relations at all levels, and the steady progress of the two countries' cooperation in the field of tourism, strengthening their economic complementarity. While receiving yesterday Bahrain's ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Ali bin Abdul Rahman bin Ali al Khalifa, al Sayrafi underlined the keenness of the ministry to start various projects and initiatives aimed at boosting the tourism sector in the kingdom. The General Directorate of Traffic continues with its awareness campaign for drivers of delivery companies in cooperation with Tilabot Company. The multi-language campaign comes because of the increasing number of delivery drivers in Bahrain and the need to enhance their road safety skills. The campaign trains drivers to avoid traffic violations and informs them about traffic fines. The World Health Organization WHO, yesterday launched a case study on the kingdom's battle victory against COVID-19 at an event held at the Crown Prince Center for Training and Medical Research, Military Hospital. The event was attended by WHO Regional Director for the Eastern Mediterranean, Dr. Ahmed bin Salam al-Mandhari along with Health Minister Dr. Jalil bint al-Sayed Jawad Hussan. Speaking at the event, Dr. Jalil highlighted the importance of royal directives issued by His Majesty and HRH the Crown Prince to coordinate and cooperate with WHO in the Kingdom's battle against the pandemic. The Information and E-Government Authority IGA, announced its collaboration with the Labor Market Regulatory Authority LMRA, on the development of an Employability Skills Portal ESP. The cooperation is funded by the Labor Fund Tem Keen, the platform offers comprehensive data on the skills and jobs in demand by the labor market. The portal will increase transparency on the job market by offering a rich database of information to job seekers, education and training providers, business owners and government organizations.